Hey guys, Steven here. So something really interesting just happened a couple of hours ago. Basically, a lot of people from the fitness industry, from bodybuilding community, are against Arnold Schwarzenegger. Imagine that. I'm not sure how to feel about it, so I'm gonna tell you my take after I'm done showing you what exactly happened. So Aaron Singerman, the, the CEO of Redcon 1, says Redcon 1 can't support Arnold anymore. So before I tell you what I think and what exactly happened, let me show you this video first. Well, my freedom is being kind of disturbed here. No, screw your freedom. After much deliberation, we have decided at Redcon 1 to no longer sponsor the Arnold Classic or any of the Arnold events around the world and also not attend the Arnold events. And this is a very difficult decision because me personally and everybody at Redcon 1 has always loved Arnold. Since I was 13 years old, I remember Arnold and Predator doing this to tell everybody to stop and me looking at that with my dad and saying, that's cool. That's what I want to be. I want to be just like this guy. And over the years, I've overlooked a lot of stuff. We probably, you probably too, have overlooked a lot of stuff with Arnold where we say, well, that's just Arnold, right? And, you know, because we love him so much, we just keep overlooking and overlooking and overlooking. Well, unfortunately, his most recent comments. And not just to think about, well, my freedom is being kind of disturbed here. No. Screw your freedom. So when somebody says screw your freedom, I can't and Redcon 1 can't in good conscience continue to spend, you know, hundreds of thousands of dollars sponsoring that person or a show with a name, you know, honoring that person. So there's no way that I can continue, Redcon 1 can continue in good conscience supporting Arnold Classic for, for the future. There you go, I think you get the idea, basically what Arnold said is screw your freedom after talking about people having to wear masks and this was just enough for Aaron Singerman to stop sponsoring Arnold Classic events around the world and no longer support Arnold. And it's not only Redcon 1 and Aaron Singerman, there is a lot of other bodybuilding and fitness uh, uh, personalities who support him in this decision as well, I'm gonna show that to you in a second. But this just feels weird because Arnold Schwarzenegger is pretty much the person who contributed, well, let's say him and Joe Weider did the biggest job as far as creating the bodybuilding community and making bodybuilding what it is today. And now bodybuilding personalities, people in bodybuilding not supporting Arnold, hating on him, that's new, that, that's something that never happened before. And it's definitely weird to think about it, because Arnold is an icon. Everybody in bodybuilding loves Arnold. He is the biggest legend of the sport. Though Arnold from the 60s, 70s, 80s, when he was competing and doing the movies, and Arnold today as a politician, that's kind of two different personalities. Arnold as a bodybuilder, a bodybuilding influencer, an actor, and Arnold as a 70-year-old politician, that's, that's definitely very different. But how do I feel about this? I'm not sure yet, I'm not gonna even take a stand, because maybe he didn't really mean it that way. Uh, this is what he said also after this, let me show you. We cannot just say, I have the right to do X, Y, and Z. When you affect other people, that is when he gets serious. It's like no different than a traffic light. We put a traffic light at the intersection so someone doesn't kill someone else by accident. So this is why we have a traffic light. You cannot say, no one is going to tell me that I'm going to stop here, that I have to stop at this traffic light here. I'm going to go right through it. Yeah, then you kill someone else, and then it is you doing. So it is obviously a very complicated matter. I'm not going to take a stand. Uh, I love Arnold. I always did. Everybody does in bodybuilding community. Uh, I'm not going to just start hating him right away. Maybe Aaron Sigerman is right, because Arnold did so much for bodybuilding community, he gave us this. He gave us this, basically, he created this. We are looking the other way, that, that makes sense, sure. But still, maybe he didn't really mean it that way. I mean, it's very complicated political matter. I probably shouldn't even be commenting on this, but I wanted to show you guys what happened. Uh, I'm gonna take a couple of days to think about this a little bit more. You guys should as well. Though, tell me in the comments, what do you think? But let me show you which other bodybuilding personalities, fitness industry personalities, supported Aaron in his decision, in his withdrawal from the Arnold Classic events. Who else stops supporting Arnold Schwarzenegger? Ben Pakulski says, great decision. Flex Wheeler runs a little bit more, but he basically supports him as well. James Hollingshead, uh, Joe Bennett, uh, Patrick Bat David. 
Rob Bailey and uh, Dana Helene Bailey as well. So uh, a lot of a lot of personalities, a lot of fitness personalities, and a lot of other people. I didn't really see anybody defending Arnold here, so everybody is against him basically. As the time goes on, it's been only a couple of hours since Aaron posted this, so as the time goes on, I'm sure we're gonna see other personalities uh, support this or not support this. We'll see what's gonna happen in fitness industry, but it's definitely weird. It's definitely, it definitely feels strange. Bodybuilders against Arnold, not supporting Arnold, disliking Arnold. This is the first time in history everybody loves Arnold. He was probably number one, the most beloved bodybuilder ever, the most beloved bodybuilding personality, basically a creator of bodybuilding community, one of the, one of the most influencing people who created a bodybuilding community back in the day and basically gave us the opportunity to grow it furthermore uh, with the years and make it what it is today. So, very strange day, bodybuilders against Arnold Schwarzenegger, it just feels strange, I'm sure you guys feel weird as well, but guys, tell me what do you think about this, tell me what is your stand, I know what he said, it was horrible, but Arnold is old, he's in his mid-70s, so I will leave a little bit more room, I will give him a benefit of a doubt, and uh, let's see what's gonna happen in the next days, maybe he will apologize for saying that, maybe he will explain that not exactly the way he meant it, I don't know, I love Arnold too much and I can't just start hating him in one day for something he said, maybe he didn't mean it, maybe he meant something else to say, I don't know, anyways guys, tell me what do you think in the comment section down below, like this video if you enjoyed it and for more videos like this about bodybuilding, subscribe to my channel, all the best guys and bye bye.